Right, so I've been asked to talk about what JNS uh, mentoring is. Um, so I'll first give a quick background. So JNS uh, Mentoring Network started in 2017. And by the time we started, we had uh, four people on the ground. Um, that was Mark. Uh, on the picture, we have Mark, Diana, and Mulenga. The fourth person is one of those who is on the call today, Edwin Musukwa, but I didn't have his uh, picture. Uh, then we had two people in the diaspora, uh, myself and Jedida, pulling some strings here and there, but the foot soldiers, foot soldiers were on the ground where these four people. Uh, at that point, um, what is showing on the bottom here, that was our logo, uh, a bit clumsy if you ask me. Um, uh, we also tried something which we put on our T-shirt. I think this, I don't know if we call it, called it a logo then, uh, I think was developed by Mark, or at least supplied to us by Mark. I don't know who initially developed that, developed it. So yeah, we were just starting then. Um, that was in 2017 with only uh, four people on the ground and six in total. And the reasons really we were doing this is because uh, we had an idea and thought that uh, Science and technology, despite being um, being evidently important in the development of the nation uh, or any community, uh, is not very well established in Zambia, and especially that there's a gender gap. Um, of course, that's just one of the reasons. And because of that, um, we don't really have a lot of uh, local champions in STEM in the country. And uh, because of that lack, uh, the reduced number of uh, STEM champions, there's lack of visibility uh, of professionals. STEM, uh, by, by STEM, I, I really mean science, technology, engineering, and mathematics uh, uh, champions. When we do not have vis visibility, there's no motivation of those that are coming up, um, uh, the, young, the, the, the young students or pupils. They're not motivated to get into STEM pupils. So I have this cycle, uh, this vicious cycle, and uh, it doesn't lead to development in any way. So we thought of uh, coming up with this, juniors and seniors. The name was different by the way, uh, but I don't think it's necessary to go into the uh, nitty gritties of what the name was at, the, at that point. But uh, uh, as juniors and seniors, we thought we'd intervene by highlighting the success stories of local professionals and create a support system as well as mentorship network to inspire the interests of upcoming girls and boys to take up STEM. So it's more like a ladder-like structure where someone who is at a particular level in the development or in the, in the ladder of um, career as well as development can help someone who is at a lower level hold their hand, do whatever they can to inspire them, hold them, work with them on the journey uh, to, to success. And uh, I've talked more about STEM. Uh, just to note that we're increasingly accommodating non-STEM professionals as well, as long as we can find a mentor to match with the mentee. So um, the call that started this were all STEM oriented. Um, uh, Edwin has just said that he's a medical student. I'm a biologist, Jedi is a biologist. Um, we have uh, Diana who is a physicist. Mark and Mulenga are actually into social sciences. So in that aspect, we're increasing, increasingly accepting non-STEM. So the growth of the network by the end of 2019, from the uh, initial four on the ground, we had 18 people on the ground, and that spread from Kafue, Livingstone, Lusaka, Kitwe, and Dola. And among the things we did by then, uh, we, did, we made some donations to some schools. Uh, notable Chipapa Secondary School, we donated some uh, leftover equipment which we were able to ship from the US. Uh, we held um, quiz competitions, um, outreach programs where people uh, talked about their career journeys and motivational talks and so forth. We even went as far as donating some food items to some orphanages within Lusaka. And all this is uh, in an effort to inspire and uh, help each other on the ladder of success in terms of uh, education and other career goals. Um, so yeah, we had quiz competitions as well. Uh, so the picture in the middle here 
is prize giving after a quiz competition. And uh, the picture I'm pointing at, if you can see my case, those are some of the um, students or pupils who listen to a motivational talk. And uh, here, again, interaction between pupils, the mentees and the mentors after a motivational talk. So from 2019 to date, uh, you can see some pictures here. The first picture says COVID-19 whether you believe, him, believe me or not, but some of our members in GNS discovered COVID-19. Um, so that's what we did as GNS. I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, there was COVID-19. So because of COVID-19, uh, we didn't do a lot of uh, in-person activities. Uh, but among the few things, we had a new logo. So this is a new logo that we uh, developed in early 2020. Uh, we held two rounds of virtual essay competitions, as you can see. Um, this was a post about the second virtual competitions where the winners are uh, walking away with various uh, prizes. Uh, we ran a graduate internship in partnership with Zambia Agricultural Research Institute. So we supported uh, two graduates uh, with an internship, which gave them immense experience, I guess. Um, we have weekly virtual goal setting and catch up meetings. Uh, so these are open every week. Whoever wants to attend and has the time can attend. And we officially registered with PACRA. Um, so we are officially recognized. Among the things we do, um, we, we, we do and we can do is to inspire and encourage each other to attain greater heights in our personal. Uh, we support each other in every possible way. So in every possible includes really a moral support, financial support, as long as it is possible and all other support. So it's a network, remember. So we are a network of friends, um, colleagues, and so forth that love to help each other. We celebrate each other's success. We give advice, uh, mostly based on personal experiences. That we, that's why we have these uh, um, motivational talks where people give their stories. Uh, some of the questions that can be tackled through our network is how to prepare exams, for example. And these are just this is not an exclusive list. These are just examples. How to choose your career, how to get your dream job, how to write your CV, how to search and apply for scholarships, both home and abroad, how to stay focused amidst life's personal challenges, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, these are some of the things that we talk about um, and we're able to help each other about. Now, after talking uh, about what JLS is, I thought I should include a slide or two um, to say what J and S is not. Um, just to be very clear, as J and S, we are not a school. We are not a learning institution of any form. We're just a network of colleagues and friends that are helping each other. And neither are we a funding body nor a donor. So I said we help each other in whatever way possible. Sometimes that way could be financial support, but that doesn't make us a donor. So when funds are available, we do help each other uh, financially. And we do not represent any funding body, no government. So all the interactions that we have, we talk from personal experiences and some informations we might have um, obtained from funding bodies and government. But uh, when we're speaking, we are not representing any of those. Uh, it's information inherent in us. We do not offer scholarships and we do not yet give any salaried employment. Uh, we do not write anyone's application uh, for whatever you are applying for. We give advice. We can tell you how to write. We can. It's really much about advice. We are not the ones who are going to judge it. So we can only advise, but we shall not and we do not encourage each other to write for anyone else. Um, so these are a few more pictures of what we envision to do um, when we go for our outreaches. We interact both university students, high school students, and so forth. Uh, just as a way of emphasis, we are really just a group, a network of friends and colleagues at very different levels, starting from primary school, high school, college, university, working, early career, and we have uh, people that are late into their careers, just trying to inspire and encourage each other, as you can see from some of those pictures. Um, that's what I prepared to talk about. And that's the last um, slide, just encouraging you to join us through those various uh, platforms. Thank you very much.